State Senator Kel Seliger, a Republican and chairman of the Senate Higher Education Committee, has filed a bill that would do away with the top 10% rule. So for about two decades, any student who graduates in the top 10% of his or her high school's class in Texas is promised automatic admission into any public university in the state. There's one small exception, which is at the University of Texas at Austin. So at UT, you have to be in the top seven or eight percent. The law was written in 1997, soon after a uh, federal court case found that affirmative action in the state of Texas was illegal. So a bunch of Democrats came together with this idea of how can we increase diversity without specifically addressing race. So if you took a portion of students from every school across the state, presumably you would get a pretty diverse group of students. The rule has always been very popular among Democrats who view it as a way to increase diversity at universities across the state. But some Republicans, especially those in suburbs, have disliked it because they feel like it's unfair to their students who tend to go to more competitive schools where it's harder to get into the top 10%. So right now, the chairman of the Senate Higher Education Committee, Kel Seliger, has filed a bill that would eliminate the law. He says that the state government shouldn't be this involved in setting the admission standards for public universities. Given his powerful role in the Higher Education Committee, the bill seems very likely to reach the Senate floor. Um, whether it will pass remains a question. 